Hello again, everybody, uh, for another video between myself and uh -huh. Joe. Uh, first things first, if you haven't watched our previous videos, go and watch them. We've done one about the 14th Doctor costume, which we've got here, minus the coats. A uh, lovely screen accurate piece. And bit of wild blue yonder here. Exactly, bit once again appearing in a different form. Yeah. Yep, a little, uh, little bit of set dressing there, lovely. We've done some stuff about Joe's lovely um, 11th Doctor screen accurate rubber side props replica. An amazing piece. Uh, yeah, that was great as well. Go and check that out. And then today, um, now, well, we're just going to be doing a, a bit of general chit chat about 60th, really. Um, about where, where things are up to and where things are going and, yeah, expectations, reflections, um, good cop, bad cop sort of stuff, I suppose. Bit of bit of both sides of the debate, maybe. We'll, we'll see how we go. So, um, to start with, first yeah. initial teaser, end of Power of the Doctor, what do we think? Yeah. Like that... Uh, it must have been 20, 30 seconds. Yeah. Um... I think it's enough. I think it was... Yeah, yeah it was. It was respectful to Jerry. It was, it was the Jerry. right decision to not do any more. I think it's respectful. Because Russell said, didn't they, that they could have done Jerry Christmas Wicker, trailer yeah. earlier or stuff. But yeah, like, come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, there was so much going on that evening. You wanted, like, as a... Since I'm doing, like, YouTube content and stuff, I... Where, where do you start? Do you do like a reaction to Power of the Doctor? Do you do a reaction well, to the trailer? Do you do, how do you cover in, it all? In so, brief, David, mm. maybe lands in Camden. I don't think... If we did yeah. see a scene from Wild Blue Yonder, I don't in think the first we did. No, I, don't I, think, don't, I don't think there was any of it. I think the first the, time we, we saw Wild Blue Yonder... No, because I think the spaceship one. scene is him in Beep the Meep ship, you know, where he darts under the glass yeah. that's dropping. Or maybe in the rocket, mate. Cause the, yeah. I can't quite... Yeah, I'm still working this out. Cause there's, like a, there's a little pod, isn't there, that yeah. Beep the Meep. But unless, unless that's big on the inside. But is the pod for the Wrath Warriors? Is it just bigger on the inside? Could be. <laughs> you don't know, Doctor. You never know. And there's the rocket as well. Yeah. And maybe there's other stuff. I don't know. But yeah, we, we saw well, basically a shot of like each character, didn't we? Or each of the main characters. Like but, and then Madonna. Jeep sort of exploding. But other than that, it wasn't much. But I think it was enough to entice people into. Oh, yeah potentially watching it mm. but the first one we're just going to quickly re-watch is um the the christmas one which was an extended christmas version one. of that wasn't it basically. yeah so all, all the same shots but with more stuff so i, I guess they start off with this trailer they cut it down a bit for the power yeah, of trailer and then yeah release the full so christmas obviously thing. we start with a shot of london mm. if it'll play <laughs> start with a nice shot of london tardis rumbling and stuff yeah nice shot of yasmin finney that's obviously the beast. That's the yeah. Yeah, all yeah. yeah, oh, looks very nice. Um, Lord David. Reckon this is all Star Beast still. All, all Star Beast, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Really yeah. giggle for the, the Bristol Star. Giggle, yeah. Just beginning. That's yeah. the rocket, obviously, yeah. Premier. Roger Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for it is, yeah, Star Beast, Star Beast, Star Beast. I don't believe in destiny. That's the actual three days. Heading for Donald Trump. Open fire! Unit, yeah. Everyone remembers me. She will die. <laughs> <laughs> Glasses, which obviously people then identified as we talked about. Skinny man, is that offensive? That is a question. <laughs> <laughs> and like, um, well, God, do, do I go here? But like, you know, the oh, no, we've got to go back. Shooty Gatwa. Oh, Shooty, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you get an awesome scene. With it, well, with right, yeah. first of all, where do we think that is? Um, so you were suggesting to me that it could be the helipad, I think, weren't you? Is that right? See, I've heard it could be the helipad, but yeah. the thing is, the costume looks a bit... I don't think being blasted with a galvanic beam goes, oh, the coat's gone, the waistcoat's yeah. gone, <laughs> oh, the tie's undone. I, yeah. I, I, I think um, you'd be... I wonder if it's from Wild Blue Yonder. I, see, I, I think he's definitely going to appear in two of them, maybe all three, the, probably, because in the, some form. The thing is, like, I, I feel like Russell's going to do this in a really interesting way, where it's going to be, he puts all of this up front so you think you know what's happening, hmm. but I think it's going to be a bait and switch where it's like... I hope, I hope so, yeah. Yeah, because I, so. I think we'll get him a lot earlier oh, yeah, than yeah. his beat. I think while, and that's maybe why Wild Blue Yonder has potentially just not had that much said about it unless it is just the helipad but we all know the background's been edited so yes. it won't be that grey cloudy thing I should probably say to you as well at this point have you seen the most recent leak that was on Twitter and stuff I don't go on Twitter it's no. the playground for idiots well yeah have you seen it anywhere else uh, do you know what I mean 
if I say like split, I'll just spoil it for me I'm not. split regeneration does that kind of mean anything to you oh no is it the thing I was reading where <laughs> right I've got a thing against this right <laughs> oh. can we ju- if it is true yeah and it is true I don't want a do, universe keep, keep where right. David Tennant can come back hmm. so it, well, there's a rumour is it where he, they actually, stay yeah. in the toy makers land or whatever it is well, the, the, and them the two go it, yeah. off the, and but shooty is the prime doctor. The gist of it is that they, they, they both carry on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so like rather than David just turning into Shooty, he like gets to live on himself as well. I think it's a false leak though. I wonder if Russell it if that if it is a leak, I wonder if Russell has done it to catch someone because they they probably do this in the media. Well there was or stuff yeah. You, you see, you never know what's true and what's not because in the same league there was stuff about the Christmas. Have you heard the stuff about the Christmas episode with... Oh, the batshit crazy elves. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can have to cut that out, but I'm sorry for swearing. And, like, Davina McCall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it looks to be true. It looks to be true. Yeah, because I know. There were some, like, but guys... Davina McCall... On CVs playing Goblin uh, can, and stuff. Can and... Davina McCall act is the question. Like, we'll find out. We'll find out. Because <laughs> I thought there was a thing well, she that... She that role in She that, did uh, something years ago. episode, Bad Wolf. As the Davina droid. Yeah, but there was there was like a I think there was Whatever a sitcom. Was, that, that house that I think there's a really house. terrible sitcom yeah, years yeah. ago I actually. Did. Yeah, yeah. And like I, apparently that didn't go down too well. I don't necessarily know what the story of that is, but that got cancelled. It sounds like a very Russell thing. I think that. Yeah. I think it's going to be stunt casting where it's like this person yeah. you won't expect. Next thing, Davina McCall, Marvel superhero. <laughs> you know but I mean? um, yeah, but back to the regeneration thing. So the, the yeah. idea. I'm not actually against the idea. Well. The idea of David carrying on... Absolutely not. <laughs> I do not. Do you think, yeah. I mean, I think logistically there are, there are, there are pros to that in the sense of, well, if, if it wasn't just him but other Doctors from this point on, if there was a thing where, like, from now on the Doctors don't change into each other, they, they get, like, siphoned off, they live on, they go to, like, the edge or some, like, edge-like place where... You can just kind of and still get to have adventures in some yeah. capacity. And it's, again, it's like the multiverse thing. It's like different realities, different do... doctors. It, it, it kind of, it, it would feed into that whole... The thing. whole Lost Stories thing. You can do yeah. loads of Lost Stories, yeah. potentially. Yeah. The, I've always thought, and Matt Smith said this, I think it was at Wales Comic Con. Mm. I, I could be completely wrong, but I think it was Wales. He said the best part he found about doing Doctor Who was being on Doctor Who on Christmas Day. Mm. I feel if the Christmas slot or whatever the festive slot is, I think it's pretty much locked in. It's Christmas. I think so. If yeah, we had a lot. different doctor each year, that would be so interesting. See, that's been suggested, hasn't it? Yeah. And it, I, I yeah. Think it would just, as much as yeah, the the idea seems a bit kind of like contentious. The idea actually of, of having a an easy way to bring them back, like just by saying, oh yeah, well that it's a one off from their era. They're, they're, yeah, or just well, with this this idea, this this thing of they're still out there. You know, like from now on, like when Shooter generates, he's still out there as well. Mm. And then all these doctors are still out there. It would, just, it would open the door to bring them back in a way that I wouldn't be too. I just don't want them in back permanently because the thing is, I feel with Matt Smith specifically with Series Five, that whole "I don't want to go" thing was like biting at his heels. I feel like that's what made Matt's transition so difficult because some people just like completely switched off after David went. Mm. Like a lot of my friends did at least, and it's just like from you know, like from like uni or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But it's just, I I don't know how I'd feel about it. I think if it was, as long as it isn't like, ah, guys, we need to make more merch sales, drag him out. As long as it isn't like that, because mm. I want, like, I'm really yeah, excited I... for the shooty Yatwa series mm. because he he he's just electric. Like his performance, you just watch yeah. these filming pictures. And so much energy. Oh, totally, totally. Like, yeah. You wouldn't, I suppose, want David to come to the over Shadow. Yeah, you know I mean. yeah. Although it's interesting because, like, technically, if you think about it, like, ever since, like, for the whole of the 2020s so far, minus the first, like, month, like, f- first few weeks of 2020 itself, mm. we've all, like, we've had two doctors, like, we had Jodie and Joe Martin. Now we've, we've got the thing of, like, they're not both. The doctor at once, but it, the, the way it's being marketed, we've kind of got like two doctors on the go, like with David and with Shooty, and so, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think I think maybe there's there's something to that. I, I can see them logistically wanting to have like an easy way to bring the actors back, but at the same time, like you say, it could just be like a a thing they put in there to so like find out who's leaking the actual genuine stuff, and it could just be rubbish. I just I I can't imagine it being a split universe. Um, 
I think I think they will appear yeah. alongside alongside each other though. Shooty and David, mm. they're going to share scenes. I think I think it would be nice if they shared scenes, even if I it's in Wild Blue will. Yonder, yeah. where like clearly we will get onto it eventually when we get onto the third trailer. David looks distraught in that. Mm. Like he looks absolutely. Yeah, it's kind of like, like ooh, he gosh. has been tormented. <laughs> yeah. But we'll move on to the second first. We'll play this one. Um, this is the yeah the Eurovision trailer. Eurovision right? yeah, trailer. A shorter one. Um, with the title reveals. Start and... off with a nice shot of Cyber, Cyber Dog, Dog yeah, where everyone's yeah, like the Cybermen are back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's no, just no. it's just a shop. <laughs> yeah. It's indeed. It's in there. That's interesting to say goodbye. Very much playing into that third act. I do, yeah, I don't know as well. You know that box of stuff that Donna's holding. What is like those kind of rolls of paper and stuff? See, what I is thought that? it like, was toys. Yasmin Finney's character Rose is sending off abroad to like Dubai or something. I could be completely wrong. Oh, okay, maybe. I heard that somewhere. Right, if we just go back yeah. a little bit. Because <laughs> there was a thing just to say as well. I think, yeah, did you see how the the leaked um not leaked like the you know when someone like had filmed that scene from the Camden film, like the first scene, mm. they'd filmed it all and like stitched it together with like music and stuff. I think there was something about, yeah, Yasmin for these that roads, like um, sending stuff off. Or I, yeah, I don't know, maybe. I think that's what it was, but yeah. I could be mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you've got Wild Blue Yonder first all redacted. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's clearly yeah. very hidden. Um, giggle, Bernard Cribbins briefly. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, if we just go back yeah, a little the bit. Stooky Bill thing. Yep. Yep. John, you there bad. we go. People speculate that it's him who's entering the toy shop, the Mr. Emporium shop. You know, in the previous trailer. Potentially. That unknown actor. It makes well, sense, wouldn't it? Uh, it didn't Russell say it was a big guest star that didn't get leaked? I thought yeah, that yeah, was something yeah. like that, yeah. surprisingly. But it, it, that would still work, yeah. But, obviously, this puppet, mm. quite clearly, I wonder if it's like a weird thing where he's sort of like time travel messing about, goes back in time to cement this, like, thing in your head. Yeah, it's clear, like... That drives kind of, you into an yeah, absolute like insanity. transmission or some kind of, and, like... Everyone will see it once in Suggestion. their life, weirdly. Yeah. yeah. And then it'll just be this thing going, ah, 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 like that. It's kind of like an, an infectious um, a laughter, laughter that whatever, broadcast. Broadcast. Kind of clip. And it yeah. drives people to it. And maybe that's what the weird bands are. On You can see one just on a unit soldier there. Because Mel was wearing one. Oh, are, they in the, are they in these ones as well? Yeah, you can see, look, unit soldier. The more you know. Yeah. Uh, and I think... Yeah. I, I think that, that's, that's dead on. They, they are clearly like, like and, to protect them. Uh, from oh, the where's it from? Neural Blocker. That's from an episode. That's uh, Capaldi, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Hellbent? But the, there's... Um, My, that's the, the mind thing it made me thing. think of is the... Yeah, the, um, like the eye patches from Series 6. Eye patches, like yeah, true. It's a similar idea. It's like some sort like, of... Tone. I think that's, that's, that's a good yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, more one stuff, basically. And then obviously... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's the best what shot. The hell? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. Uh, can I just say how good Beat the Meep looks? Like clearly, mm. it is a physical prop. Yeah, it's clearly. Well, a th oh yeah, and going from those first blurry photos on set where I looked a little bit like it could go either way to now seeing it, obviously in the trailers and stuff. I think it's great. Um, possibly, I could be mistaken here. You know the people who did the effects for. Is it his dark materials? Wouldn't surprise me because that was a bad wolf. Yeah, I wonder if it's the same yeah. people. Yeah. Because the ice just looks so organic. Yeah, because they had creatures and stuff. And they had right? creatures. Yeah, and yeah, I, I could sense. be mistaken. That might be just me putting mm. one and one together. But yeah, I, I genuinely... That one feels like we got a lot more. I feel... We didn't... I don't think by that point we knew about Mel properly. I think we heard the rumour um, of oh, her rumors, mentioned outside of the TARDIS. Yeah, it was like a month or two later that she was announced, like yeah. a photo. But that, the rumour it was going back forever. But really. I um, think in that one, the grand reveal at the end should have been, I am the toy maker. Yeah, yeah. Like that second one. Just... There were, I don't think there was quite enough in that trailer almost. Like we got the titles, that was a big thing. But it would have been nice to have a little bit more. Because it was some shots we've seen before and some of the, yeah, I mean, some new stuff, but yeah, like some like big <clears throat> bellowing voice, like and even some... in, in the most recent trailer as well, like why why did they not have that in there, like a shot of it? No, because they announced it on Instagram, like yeah. before we go in to watch this for some bizarre yeah. reason. Same time this went up, oh, was, I, I saw it afterwards. But, yeah, there was yeah. like an Instagram post. Yeah, they, they announced it on the socials alongside the Kate thing, and obviously Kate was in the trailer and he was in the trailer, but they didn't. It's like, why, it why didn't they show the Mel? Mel is clearly in the trailer because she's got one of those armbands. Unless if this is like, you go to work <laughs> now, and it's like, right, we're a part of a secret organisation. Yeah. We live in Where Avengers Tower. Yeah. So it's dead obvious. 
But now, to make yeah. sure everyone knows that we work as a yeah. team on Aliens, you've got to wear this. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. But given what we're about to watch, mm. I don't think the unit spin-off is coming immediately, but do we think it's coming? As in, it's um, been drafted... But given how I think much it's focus, more, more than that, given what we've now seen, it's, it seems more likely to me. Yeah, I went for a period of thinking, oh, maybe the rumors aren't true. But that helipad in particular, the helipad, it's takes... a really big set to yeah. piece to build. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I certainly hope so. But yeah, I think like you, yeah, I, I, like it's not going to be straight away. I don't think anyway, it wouldn't make sense logistically. But they're going to want to... Well, it's a difficult one. Are they going to want to see the reaction to the specials and stuff before they commission it? Or, or, I don't know how it's going to work with that because surely it's already in some stage of development. must be in some stage. It must be. If, it it, is. if it's, if it's But I be, think you, you could have a really nice team, really strong, all-female lead. Mm -hmm. Kate Stewart, yeah. Mel. Yeah. I'd actually get Ace back from Power of the Doctor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe have Tegan pop in for an episode or two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because obviously Tegan's travelling. Mm -hmm. But... Freeman Adjaman, please can we have Martha Jones back? It's surely about it, time. It's got to. Surely. Even if surely. it's like series 14 or... Mm. I feel like Beyond, yeah, you could have a really good crew of strong female leads together yeah. leading this brand new spin-off into yeah. a new era. I don't I don't think... Whatever happens, I don't think Osgood's going to be back in it. I don't think. I, I don't I think can't, so. I can't see that happening. Because they've had their chances now to have her back. Also, the whole Zygon thing's like confusing. They're both yeah, Zygons like, and like... Get that. I, get, I completely just, get the point of it doesn't matter which one is which because that's the point of the yeah, story. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. But it's a bit like it's do you, do you then need to do double shots with both Osguns? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, every shot Osgun is in. just park that and, and leave it yeah. in the past, I think. Because it? then it becomes like a CGI mess where you need to double them up, don't you? Yeah. But if I'm the subject of that, actually, um, one idea, one theory. Could David have also filmed some stuff as the Tenth Doctor, and could they be appearing alongside each other, the Tenth and the Fourteenth, maybe? Maybe not Tenth and the Fourteenth, but maybe in the Edge. So yeah. Question I'm, is, do, maybe, is, maybe not together. It's is the kids. suit in good enough condition? Because like, <laughs> so the story goes regarding mm. David Tennant's suit. One of them was burnt when he gets electrocuted by the Master oh, in gosh, the chest. Yeah. So one's all burnt. And there's one's the whole thing of how glass shattered. Which one was it? Was it the jacket made out of the trousers or the other way around? It was something. So like the jacket it? is made out of six or seven oh, pairs of trousers. I so always already get we're kind of yeah we're kind of dealing with something that's quite limited. Unless if they were to use a Magnoli suit, but mm. the thing is, there's David's personal one. There's the exhibition one, but I think that's faded under lights. Yeah. So I oh, think yeah, that was his personal one that he's been doing. So, yeah. Pieces but his is looking a bit tired, you know, just because he yeah. wears it so much. I, I think though, I think they kind of be silly to pass up the opportunity. Like, I, to I think do it. I think it's kind of too good, too good an opportunity yeah. to, for them to miss. Really, I, I, I just I'm not saying it would necessarily be yeah. a, a good thing to see or anything, but like just from their point of view, I can see. Oh yeah, well, well we've got David Tennant. We might as well get him to do some stuff. I don't know. Doctors, or maybe flashback. Maybe side plot. Similarly, maybe. I don't know what saying this, I don't know whether I really believe it or not, but obviously, like, Georgia Moffat, Georgia Tennant, you know, she she obviously is just, like, a, a phone call away. I think that's, that there's got to be something, like... got to be something. Uh, there's, like, a plot line with Jenny coming, like, just what, even if it's, it's, like... Yeah, like, obviously, they're all, like, he's back working on it and stuff, and, like, there was that photo of, like, his kids visiting the set and stuff. That's what I think. Yeah, like, surely... And they wouldn't pass up. The if this toy maker realm is as we believe it to be, where yeah. it's a dimensional dimension where everything gets caught up by the top yeah, toy maker, it's, it's, and quite literally in this one, the next one we're out to watch, yeah. we see him puppeteering. <clears throat> yes. Is it potential the way the Doctor's mental block is he can bring people into the game as well mm. from the past? Because okay, da yeah, David yeah. did say there's a lot more people involved <laughs> than just him. Yeah. My wife. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. could he like bring yeah. Jenny back like that? Like, well, yeah. obviously, mm. everyone who's currently Liz, uh, living, sorry, because like as much as we'd love to see Liz back, it yeah, it's just unfortunate. But yeah, I don't think they'll do any like. But maybe if it's like for a brief, like that but, but yeah. that's maybe how they get get like the companions. Well, totally, yeah back in it is like I think it'd be so easy wouldn't it like to you can have them as an army behind it and that's maybe yeah. how they get the Daleks in it Neil Patrick Harris comes out of all these monsters yeah, well, yeah. briefly and exactly. then it's like or, um, yeah so something like that where you could just get anybody literally anyone to be at any monster any, any doctor any companion or anything just have yeah. them there as part of the game 
the Doctor's team, Toy Maker's team, have like Toy Maker uh, duplicates of like the Doctor's friends and things. Kind of, it would mm. it would just be fitting. And like we've seen stuff like this in like Five Doctors, where um, wherever it is, it's like Jamie and Zoe or and like, Liz, I think, and Ben, to, or Yates, where there's like the the versions of them in in Rassilon's tower, and it's like it's not actually them. It's like tricks and traps yeah. and stuff. It, it, yeah. There is precedent sort of for that sort of thing, and it would be so easy for them to just explain it away and say, yeah, you know, oh, it's the toy maker, oh, it's this, it's that. And it would be such an easy excuse to get them in there, wouldn't it? It, it would be good. Watch the third one? Yep, yeah, let's go. So, official trailer. It's it's quite like, um, I thought this, it's a bit very Stranger Things, you know how you've got this initial bit? Like, you know, before it, it has like... Oh, the little mini The, the little teaser, snippet. Yeah, yeah I've been I doing that for a few years, I think, now. Yeah, yeah some of the journey ones as well. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it seems to be the way. Got some new shots of David. I think that's him lurking about looking for, like, the rocket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Probably. I love so. this It's weird they've used the shot of Waters and Mars. Yeah. <laughs> Do we think there's, funny, isn't it? there's loads of people, like, saying something about that. But I think it's just because they... Have just a yeah, decent shot, yeah. HD, yeah. And the other stuff hasn't well, been remastered, but it's not. <laughs> it's just fun to have them back. So this is obviously, we're getting a little bit more of Wild Blue Yonder. Mm. But it's difficult to tell as well, like with all these teal coloured ships and stuff. Is it the same ship? Is it different ships? Ship. Is it? Yeah. I wonder if it's been done on purpose. Yeah, yeah. And that would have been the perfect point to drop, it's the toy maker. You yeah. know, something like that. But similarly as well, um, like with, with Donna, well with, with both of them only having one outfit all the way through as well, it makes it harder to identify. Pinpoint. Those. Yeah, so I think that, that again happens on purpose. But if we just go back, we've obviously, something so bad, the TARDIS ran away. Yeah. What is that? Like... Temporal, some kind of temporal anom anomaly, anomaly, or something, like that. Yeah. Or something yeah. sentient that can reflect something so bad yeah. back at the TARDIS. Yeah, I think that. So I suppose yeah, if it is what we think it is, this episode it's probably like the toy maker pulling the string and stuff. But bubble episode trapped on yeah. some weird shit. I think uh, there'll be, uh, like I said, there might be some old characters, old monsters. I think maybe there'll be like some new creatures in this one as well, maybe that we haven't seen. That'd be interesting. There've been rumors of like prosthetics and stuff, and yeah, I, it'd be a nice way to kind of. Like there's been rumors of like um, shapeshifters, and again that would kind of lend itself to having well, different people. Um, they have a very like eighties nineties theme to all of them. So like you've got, I'd say E. T. is like what the first one is. Yes, you get what I mean. Yes, this yeah. one is very like alien. It's like okay, we yeah. are trapped on, on this ship, with yeah. something horrific. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And then so, th the mm. third one's like your big action blockbuster mm. from the time. Yes, yes. You know, it looks very like Die Hard. Lots of you know explosions, yeah. London, like just like a galvanic beam and everything. Like, yeah, yeah his outfit action thing. set yeah. piece. But obviously, get the best line in the train. <laughs> Tardis being carried in. Nice little reference. Yeah, How do you fight the human race? race? I didn't pick up on that until. How do you fight the human race and save it? It's such a good, like, setup for a story. Yeah. Slightly dodgy accent again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then absolute mortified yeah. David Tennant. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I won that one. And yeah, then he's about to get his head blasted off there. I don't know. I kind of love as well, well, love hate this thing about that. they've raised the stakes with like Donna, like is she gonna die? Well, well no. Like, I'm sorry, she better die. Do you think so? Like I, this is this is where the bad cops coming in. <laughs> if she does not die, I am throwing my TV remote. Really? I think he, I think there's no I, other I just, way. I don't think they'll give her uh, another sad ending. I, I don't think they can wipe her memory and it be all hunky dory. No. Well, I don't think that'll happen, but I think they'll find a way for her to remember. I think again, just thinking about it, in, like back to the regenerate the split regeneration thing. Thinking about it from their point of view of how can we leave these characters in a place where they could come back in the future? You know, it's but like what we'll leave Donna in a place where could die. Come back. Uh, but well, does <laughs> die earlier on. Yeah. So this is my little thing. Wild Blue Yonder. I don't well, think it's not her. It's a given what's happened <laughs> with Bernard Cribbins. I don't yeah. think it'll happen. I genuinely think David shouting, "Why does it have to be this?" 
like it's like trauma like that's your you're that's witnessing trauma, something yeah. Yeah. that's maybe caused you to die pre you know like that radiation chamber yeah i've seen people but say maybe that. Yeah. instead mm. of bernard cribbins because i don't oh, think they do it again yeah. it's donna but he yeah, has to yeah, make yeah, the decision yeah, it's but it's a fake version mm. of donna you know because donna's elsewhere on this like weird yes because they said for episode two yeah. They said there was like a different bit or area they were in constantly. I think it was like f continuing to move through this like space. I can't yeah, remember where I, I saw that. I think there was a quote from the director saying there are like lots of different, like every different page you turn to a different location mm -hmm. or something. Like a different room like different, or something. Yeah, like the scope of it. Um, but I feel like, mm. I don't think they do it with Wilf because obviously, unfortunately, uh, we've lost Bernard Cribbins and it's going to, I'm going to say this, like it's going to be really upsetting I think to watch and I can understand as well them not revealing that like officially revealing it yet I, I think just out of respect and stuff and I think it's yeah. going to be a really nice final performance I, yeah. but I don't think I could watch there and say see the doctor no, make the decision no. where I, I don't think yeah, stuff don't is going down do that. Um, we're good. I think it, it would it, given if Bernard Cribbins was still around I think it would be a really interesting story dynamic if Wilf you know, they did a complete parallel where Wilf's got to save the Doctor in order for the Doctor to go on to the third special and right. sort everything yeah. out. Yeah. It would yeah. be a really nice parallel. I just don't think they'll do it. No, and like, yeah, he was clearly not in... Out of respect, in, you know, in, in the best health anyway, anyway at that point, so they, they wouldn't have written, I don't think, a really complicated part for him.